capital of Catalonia and Spain's second city, Barcelona is utterly incomparable. It's one of a few must-see cities with its own identity. This is partly down to a generation of early 20th century artists and architects like Antoni Gordi, whose unforgettable buildings are like nothing you'll see anywhere else. Tip, get the Ola BCN transport card for unlimited access to the transportation network. A great way to meet like-minded travellers is the Backpacker Pub Crawl. There's something to delight everyone in Barcelona. If you're a food lover then the city has a total of 20 Michelin stars. And if you want culture you've got an inexhaustible choice of beautiful buildings and events. Add to this clean urban beaches, world-class nightlife and so much great shopping you would know where to begin. 5 Best Things to Do in Barcelona If you're new to this channel, subscribe the channel please before you get into videos so that you can get our new video notifications. 1. Plus Ramblers Never mind that a lot of locals shun this sequence of promenades that runs from Placa de Catalunya down to the Columbus Monument at the waterfront. If you're a tourist it's one of those things that you have to do. In summer you'll be under the shade of the tall plane trees and shuffling through the crowds that pass living statues, street performers, bird sellers and flower stands. Occasionally you'll catch the whiff of waffles, gaffers being made. Once you get to the water you can keep going along the boards to visit the Miramagna Mall or Barcelona's Aquarium. 2. Sagrada Familia This is where to begin your adventure through Barcelona and the dreamlike works of Antoni Gordi. His minor basilica is a project of incredible scale and ambition that is still only around three quarters complete more than a 140 years after Gordi first became involved. When its spires are finished it will be the tallest church building in the world and hardly resembles any religious structure you'll have seen in your life. The Sagrada Familia combines several architectural styles including Catalan modernism, Art Nouveau and Spanish Lake Gothic. But Gordy's masterpiece defies these kinds of definitions when you look up open-mouthed at the ceiling of the nave. 3. City Beaches Barcelona's beachfront boardwalk stretches for miles. It will take a good hour to get from Barcelona to Diagonal Maran Fort, but it's a walk that really helps you understand the city. The westernmost beaches like San Sebastián are busier and more touristy, but are backed by Barcelona's tight lattice of trendy shops and bars with terraces and outdoor seating. As you move along the waterfront after the Olympic port, you'll find a bit more room and more Barcelona locals. Finally, just up from Plat de Levin is the massive and new diagonal Mar Mall, revitalizing a former industrial part of the city. For La Baqueria, this is an iconic site and educational experience in one. There's been a Baqueria market in Barcelona since medieval times, though this exact spa has only witnessed trade for about 200 years. That elegant and distinctive iron and glass roof you'll see was put up in 1914. Whether you want to do some food shopping or just take in the sights and sounds of a bustling urban market, it's a real eye opener. It's a grid of permanent stall selling fruits, vegetables, cold meats, cheese as well as olive products. The whole market converges on an oval plan of fishmongers in the center. Fire, heart gal, round off your gaudy experience with a trip to this garden complex on Carmel Hill. Many make the trip to this part of Gracia for those gorgeous panoramas over Barcelona from the park's main terrace. You'll have seen these serpentine benches and their mosaics on postcodes and in movies. Elsewhere there are colonnades, fountains and sculptures, all in the architect's distinctive style. If you still haven't had enough Gordy, you can enter his house museum, where he lived from 1906 to 1926, with furniture and decorative items designed by him on display.